Thank you, Dr. Ramswami Iyer and everyone here uh, for giving us this opportunity to share what is happening in Karnataka uh, with respect to our rivers. Uh, although we did receive uh, the title as Living Rivers and Dining Rivers, uh, we thought we will introduce this new term, Stuffed Rivers, because I will just share what is happening with these uh, tributaries of the living river Kaveri uh, in, in and around Bangalore and how uh, growing cities are contributing to this stuffing of tributaries uh, which are a danger to the living rivers, to the living waters. So I will start uh, with the first slide itself. This is the picture of the tributary called Rishabhavati. I'll go back to the The picture on the left is a very old picture, probably taken in the 70s or 80s, uh, where the water, it, it is a black and white picture, um, it, the, and the water is fairly um, clean and not dumped with all the city's waste. And the picture you see on the right is a very recent picture taken just last week of the Vrishabhavati, which has become a sewer of, for the city. Yeah. I will start today's presentation with the story of Kaveri itself. Uh, Kaveri, as we all know, has a lot of legends and stories. And uh, just to take you back into a little bit of mythology, it goes like, you know, she was actually Vishnu's daughter. She was called Vishnu Maya. She wanted to serve humanity, so she requested her father that she be born on Earth. And uh, she was sent as the daughter of Kavera, the king of uh, a part of Karnataka uh, during those times. She was born as Kaveri, and she was married to Sage Agastya. And she had this desire to serve humanity and she would go on requesting her husband that she be given a chance to do something and Agastya wouldn't let her go uh, out, of her si out of his sight. So everywhere he went, he would carry her uh, in the form of water in his uh, kamandala, which is a small container where sages carried holy water in it. And it so happened once in Kurg, um, the region in Karnataka where Kaveri originates. He apparently went there for a bath, leaving Kaveri as water in his uh, holy container. And because she had been praying so hard, um, you know, because she wanted to do something for mankind, the gods sent uh, Lord Ganesh in the form of a crow and Ganesh naughtily knocks off the little kamandala and that begins her journey where she flows down the entire region of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, uh, breathing life into these uh, states. Uh, this is the story and I thought uh, picking this story would be very uh, appropriate because her desire to serve humanity uh, kind of gave birth to this river and as she uh, flowed down people came and settled there agriculture thrived uh, hundreds of uh, villages took birth hundreds of other kinds of livelihoods came into the picture can we go to the next slide and uh, like I said she drained uh, thousands of uh, agricultural fields in the region and people grew two crops, three crops in some places and people worshipped her waters and even the kings uh, granted land to many uh, talented and deserving people along the banks of uh, Kaveri. Again, if we do a uh, anthropological study of the different communities and when we learn a little bit about the history, we find that many communities in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu have been granted land by kings on the banks of River Kaveri so that they could thrive and do well and 
uh, prosper. And filled with all these things, uh, the river continues to move and she flowed on and temples again, you know, the entire region starting from um, um, Bhagamandala where Kaveri originates, every mm, few kilometers you have big massive temples, temple complexes and people came there to celebrate the river, their lives and livelihoods. And in addition to um, the many tributaries that uh, contribute to her uh, flow, uh, some of the main tributaries are the Kabini, Kapila, Hemavati, Simsha, Lokapavini, Arkavati, Bhavani and many others in uh, Tamil Nadu region. I am not uh, mentioning their names here. And many of these uh, tributaries, they actually draw a lot of water from the beautiful network of tanks in the region. As we all know, uh, in southern India, tanks played an amazing role in uh, bringing water to people. And this intricate network of tanks uh, kind of assured that there, would, there was water flow, uh, you know, somewhere throughout the year or at least augmented the main water flow. And they kind of uh, helped the main mother river, Kaveri and farming uh, prospered and urban water supply too came from these hundreds of uh, resources. This is just to give you an idea of uh, the entire Kaveri Basin. As we all see on in the left, on, uh, in, in the left side uh, where uh, the pointer is being moved, that is where Kaveri originates. And that, that entire part is in the Western Ghats, which is the main um, area that kind of supports Kaveri. And you see the hundreds of tributaries. And you also see the main uh, regions where it has been um, uh, dammed. For example, the KRS, and then on, in the top it is the Nugu and uh, the Kabini Reservoirs. And as we move uh, down south, uh, it, there, it, that is the Tamil Nadu region, which is a Metur Dam. And then further she flows and uh, she drains this beautiful delta region, uh, giving rise to the hundreds of paddies out there and people have been prospering thousands of years. Uh, we will uh, come back to the issue of uh, many other projects that are being proposed on this a little later. Uh, I will go to the next slide. This is <coughs> more a picture to kind of uh, understand uh, the drainage pattern in a city like in Bangalore, for example. If we uh, see the previous slide, let me just point the 